We all know this hole right here. Well, not this hole specifically, but your stroke index one. Long par four. 450, 470, they're ridiculously hard. Now, I had a conversation with Tom just uh, it was a week and a half ago, and it was on this hole specifically. He's like, this just takes a wonder drive and a cracking long iron shot. Now, in order to do both, we need to understand the differentiation between hitting up and how you easily do that with a driver and how you hit down on an iron. And I know this sounds ridiculous, what I'm about to say, but I never address behind the ball directly with a driver and I never address directly behind the ball with an iron. Let me show you exactly what I do to easily hit up and hit down. Now, this is how we're gonna measure this. This angle of attack number here. Now, it shows nothing right now, but we're looking for a positive number with a driver and a negative number with an iron. And this just helps me show you exactly what I mean. So I want you to think of angle of attack as a really easy thing to understand, like this. So if I address directly behind the golf ball and we place a U on the screen right now, ideally, we want the bottom of our U to happen before the golf ball with our driver. So somewhere, I guess, around here where I'm tapping the ground. Because if you think about it logically, if it r r sort of brushes the ground here, by the time it hits the golf ball, we're then working upwards. We're working into the golf ball. So you can see also, to help me do that, I've got sort of, I guess, a quarter of the ball above the face. So picture it, a U that happens before the golf ball at the low point and works up from there. So if we want our U to start before and work up to the ball, why not address it a little bit further back? Okay, so that's the first part of this. So I, nev I never address there. I'm gonna address roughly sort of three to six inches back. Because, and let me explain. If I address behind the golf ball, and we all know we want to shift our weight, what I worry is that I shift my weight too much and end up hitting down. So I'm sort of trying to offset that a little bit. So I address sort of three to six inches back is my first point. So even if I shift a little bit, which I'm going to, my bottom of the arc is still going to be behind and this side of the golf ball. Also at setup, I'm imagining my own head right here in the middle of my stance, not on the golf ball. So the first point right there, I address with my club on the ground, not hovered three to six inches back. Look, just somewhere there. It could go there, you could go there, just not right here. So that's the first point. Get the head three to six inches back. It really helps make sure and guarantee that you is before the golf ball. How hard is this tee shot, by the way? Blow my neck. The second thing I do, I address slightly out the toe. So look somewhere like this. So looking down on the golf ball there, you can see the sort of toe edge. So this here, this space between the logo and the outer bit of my club is the area that's addressing right in that space. I'm not addressing right out the middle, I'm addressing slightly towards the toe. And that's simply just for two reasons. One, I wanna make sure I get it out the middle, so addressing it out the toe helps me do that. Because, first reason, the ball's on this side of us, so naturally we have that instinct of hitting out towards the ball. We do, even if we're hitting into out, we still have that urge to move the club out in this direction. Also, big word for this channel, centrifugal force. Anything you swing in a circle wants to push out and move away. So let's offset that as well. So not only are we gonna hit up, but we're gonna find the middle more. So my setup from every angle looks very much like this. You can see, three to six inches back, slightly out the toe. That is how I want you to address that golf ball from now until you stop playing golf. And I honestly think if you just look at these different angles, you could honestly say, look, yeah, I think Alex is trying to hit this on the up. And I want somebody on the hole behind you putting out over there to go, yeah, you know what? You're hitting up on that. And that's what I said to Tom. Make it look like you're hitting up. It gives you half a chance. Right, let's hit this one away. Then we'll talk irons. So you'll also notice I was making sure that my club head was on the ground, not hovering it. And that's just simply because I feel like if it's low, it can work up to the ball. Now watch this. That's the drive on here I would take 
nine to 10 times out of 10. Middle of the fairway. And look what we got, 1.5 degrees on the up. So no negative number, a little bit of an up sign. I hit it on the up. Now, you don't need to know this. You don't need to have the exact numbers. Just helps me explain and quantify exactly how much you will improve. Let's move down the fairway and look at our irons. Now, let's say this is the ground. What I want you to have a look at with irons here is hovering that club slightly. Think about it. If that's our golf ball and we hover our golf club, we've got to work down, haven't we? We've got to work down into that ball. So instead of with a driver that was sitting flush to that ground and working up, because the ball was above it, roughly, I guess we teed it, half a ball above the face, let's think about the opposite little cheat code. Hover it, work down into it. And let's go back to our U on the ground. If we hover, we've got to work the club down. So instead of our U bottoming out behind the golf ball on this side, we now want our U to bottom out here. So I really think the cheat code of hovering, and this is what I told Tom, gives us that cue, I have to hit down. As I transfer my weight, I move the bottom of the arc ahead of the ball. So I hover it just that much. I guess it's like just an inch above. It's not a lot at all. Remember, this is what we had with driver, 1.5 on the up. That with, I've got five iron in my hand now. God, this is such a long hole. We'll be sort of like, guess, minus two, minus three on the down. How tough this is. Can you see why it is a stroke index one? So all you've got to remember with an iron, hover it around about an inch, get your right ball position, so five iron, I roughly got it around here. You're good to go. Watch this angle of attack. Oh, that was a pure, pure ball flight. Look at that divot. And this is what I want you to say. I can't hit a long iron any better than that. Look, minus 4.3 on the down. Bingo. So with two little tweaks, you're able to control your angle of attack with driver and with your irons. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it.